Storied luxury goods company Xenia is debuting today over the New York Stock Exchange. The 111-year-old menswear maker is merging with a SPAC called Invest Industrial, assigning the business an initial enterprise value of $3.1 billion. Shares will trade under the ticker symbol ZGN. Joining us now is Xenia's longtime CEO, Jildo Xenia, and Invest Industrial Chairman Andrea Bonimi. Good to see you both this morning here. Congrats on the transaction. Mr. Zenya, I'll start with you here. Uh, why now the decision to go public? Thank you. Good morning to everybody. Why now? I think timing is everything in life. And uh, I was offered by Mr. Bonomi in January to join him in the SPAC. Uh, we discussed a few months and we thought that we had the uh, same strategy in mind and we could do something important together for the family and for the uh, next investor and uh, for the Made in Italy. So we decided to go, we worked very hard, and here we are. But uh, one thing for sure, we are not changing the strategy that uh, I was able to consolidate uh, during COVID years. Uh, you know, more a lifestyle brand, uh, less a, a formal brand, and changing the perception of Xenia from power suit to luxury leisure wear. And I think that's the way the world is going. So I think we have good prospect for the future in America around the world. And Andrea, uh, one for you here. I, you have a history of investing in uh, companies that, that score high on, on ESG and sustainability. What attracted you to Xenia? Absolutely. Uh, Xenia, you know, that was one of the conditions that ourselves, our institutional investors behind us, the, end the endowments, etc., had for Xenia. When we did the due diligence, uh, you know, Xenia is be way beyond what we've done. We have been 15 years carbon neutral, but Xenia in the 1930s started you know rewilding uh, planting trees and and having a very strong esg strategy which is humbling to see that when there was no benefit for this uh, um, uh, Zenia was already was already doing to give an idea the aussie Zenia, which they rewilded in italy is 30 times central park and if i might yeah, I was, if i might add if i might please. add uh, two, th two things reforestation has been at the realm of my family since the 30. My grandpa planted more than half a million trees, and uh, the new, our our generation is doing the same uh, right now. Second, we have a strong sustainability project in the product called Used Existent, by which we take the waste of that our textile process. You know, we are a strong industry in textile, and we create new fabric called Used Existing. So I think that all this goes in the right direction of the times. And it's very interesting that you all own a lot of your um, textile chain as well. Um, Gildo, I, I want to ask you a bit more of a philosophical question, perhaps. W what is luxury at this point um, at Xenia? Because I know the idea of what luxury is, the definition, has changed to some extent over time. No, luxury uh, for me is uh, uh, something scarce, uh, something exclusive. Uh, something of excellent. I, I think that the word quality uh, is not any longer true for us. We go for a word of excellence. And it means uh, really doing well the process uh, from ship to shop, as we like to say it. We have a farm in Australia where we buy a good part of our super fine wool. Uh, we have a, a knitwear companies, we have a clothing company, we have a spinning company. So we really guarantee the entire process. Uh, uh, and for, for us, uh, the word sustainability and traceability are part of the luxury. Then luxury uh, is about uh, uh, creating a special product uh, or a special project. And I think that, uh, uh, for instance, the cashmere jacket I'm wearing today or the jacket cashmere that Mr. Bonomi are wearing are something very unique. They probably men uh, didn't know the existence. It was more in women, and so we are, we are, we are becoming a little bit like feminine. And I think that we'd like to create a new shopping experience for the men's shops at Xenia. More fun, and not just for the occasion, but just come along and see what we have new. And so we are going to create more collection, not by season as we have done, but by occasion or, 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 or by project. And I think that having this supply chain that is fully integrated helps. Beside that, we have Tom Brown as well. I mean, this is our uh, uh, another trophy that we we have acquired three years ago and, and doing super well. And I must say that uh, Tom, that was with us on the balcony in, uh, in Wall Street at New Stock Exchange, is thrilled because we are working well in uh, with Zena Textile. 
um, and, and so I think that all these things uh, uh, make us uh, um, become more leader in the luxury field. That is becoming a world of scarcity. Jildo, uh, when we eventually go back to the office, what is that, what's that menswear look? What will I be wearing when I eventually go back to the office? Listen, you, you, you see what uh, uh, both me and Andrea are wearing today. Uh, we are not wearing this for the occasion. We are wearing this in the office. We are wearing this when we travel. We are wearing this when we are uh, on, on a weekend with our family. So this is the new lifestyle. So my goal is to replace uh, gently the wardrobe of the, of the men that have dozens of suits uh, in their wardrobe with something more fun and more um, appetible. Uh, that is very, very high quality. As a matter of fact, the order that you see today is all the offer uh, made to order. Made to order is our Formula One uh, uh, for many, many years. Not only in clothing and, and in furnishing accessories, but also in luxury sportswear. So I think that my recommendation uh, is uh, just, you know, just to wear something that you feel comfortable, uh, that, 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 that makes still look you dapper. But don't think that the suit is, is dead or the tie is dead, absolutely not. I think there, there will still be occasion in which uh, one can wear a suit. Surely at the boardroom I am more comfortable to wear a suit and a nice tie. Or uh, for a ceremonial, uh, you know, dressing, I mean, it's, uh, it's appropriate. Nice tuxedo with a nice bow tie. So I think that uh, 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 the fun thing is that the water of the man uh, will be more fun. A little bit like uh, what women have been exper experimenting all these years. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear some equal opportunity fun in fashion mm -hmm. for men. As you say, <laughs> who doesn't love a man in a tuxedo, though? Andrea, yeah. uh, when I think of the French luxury fashion houses, many of them are conglomerates at this point or owned by an umbrella organization. And as Gildo mentioned, Xenia owns Tom Brown, and there are a couple of brands, but do you envision Xenia becoming that kind of sort of um, umbrella for other brands as well? I think scale is, impo is important in all industries, unfortunately, as, the, as now we fight on a, globalized, uh, uh, on a globalized economy, scale is more and more important. In the case of Xenia, Xenia will catch the opportunities, but uh, it's not, the goal is not to do a French-style conglomerate. Uh, Xenia is a sort of an Italian family uh, uh, feeling, so companies have to fit together, have the same DNA uh, across the board, the same positioning, and I think Xenia will be will be attractive to other companies like Tom Brown, who want to have the synergies, but they remain independent and have, the, and, and have access to the world like uh, Xenia, which is already the biggest in its, in its market, can, can give. So I think, uh, I, think, uh, yeah, I think you'll see more of this. Yeah. And it will be great for Italy, by the way. You know, Italian companies right now, if they wanted capital, they had to go to French conglomerates. Now, but this is an example of coming to the US Stock Exchange or joining Xenia in this adventure. Jildo, this is um, this is very much a family business. What do you think your grandfather would say if he saw you standing uh, down at the New York Stock Exchange listing the company that he found? And then, you know, do you have other family members that that might succeed you at some point? Listen, my my grandpa would be very proud that I can tell you, uh, as uh, as as much as I've been proud for what he did, because this man in the thirty was a visionary and was a philanthropist creating Panoramica Zegna, uh, our road to the mountain, which will take us, uh, that road will take us to the future. And uh, this Aussie uh, uh, Zegna territory, 30 times the size of Central Park, is uh, our pride. Um, and so I'm glad that I was able to not match what he did, but a little bit uh, go after his example. Uh, succession. Uh, I'm not a young man any longer, but Andrea asked me to serve for the next couple of years, which I will do with joy. I feel uh, the energy, uh, I feel uh, uh, the passion, and I think I've shown that I know what I'm doing. Yes, one day there will be a succession, it will be foolish. It will be foolish not to think that uh, I will, uh, somebody will succeed me, but uh, I think it's premature to talk about, however, meritocracy. I lived in America, I studied in America, and I think meritocracy, beside freedom, is the, is the great thing of this country. So we are going to apply meritocracy for my succession. But I can tell you that the fourth generation is already serving his purpose. I've got uh, 
three young men working with me. Uh, my oldest son, Eduardo, was with me on a road show, on a video show, and I'm very proud for what we did together. So I think we are, we are, we are in safe hands. Well, you, you, your family clearly know what they're doing. I, I really love seeing stories like this and looking forward to following your journey as a public company. Jill Dozenia and Invest Industrial Chairman Andrea Bonomi, good to see you guys. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon.